winter is back it means I'm back welcome to a special video my name is Kili Weibel I'm a Swiss ski instructor with federal certificate examiner and a member of Swiss Snow Devil team in this video I will talk about Cardo Systems Pack Talk here the product Outdoor Black a dynamic mesh communication system with Super audio quality from JBL. I will not talk about specific details or how to install the Pack Talk. For this information, you can go to the website Cardo Systems. You can find the link in the description. I have four questions. What, why, when and how? First, I try to explain you uh, Cardo Pack Talk in a quick overview based on dynamic mesh communication and with outstanding sound quality from JBL you can communicate with up to 15 people at the same time. Dynamic mesh communication creates a flexible network giving users the freedom to roam and communicate with each other at a range of up to one kilometer between each unit in line of sight. Each DMC unit acts as its own communication hub constantly looking to connect with other units in the best way possible. More features of the product. The waterproof pack talk got voice control in several languages. You can listen music or make important phone calls while skiing. Okay, now to the first question. For what is it? Is it helpful uh, for my lesson? Or is it a chance to communicate better with my brother as a cameraman while we are filming cool skiing stuff? This is definitely an added value for my ski coaching on snow or when mountain biking in summer. I can communicate with several people at the same time and respond specifically on their needs. Especially one-to-one -one coaching, um, I can give direct feedbacks via pack talk. I want to turn and then you can pass me. Yeah, yeah sounds good. So I start, extension, back, back. I often use it for filming some cool ski content. Um, to communicate with my team makes it much more easier. And yeah, on the mountain it's more efficient and the result will uh, increase. Why should we use it during ski coaching? It is easy to install and the handling with the helmet is a great advantage. Especially in strong wind or high speeds, you understand each other perfectly. And this will um, promote a nice learning atmosphere between you and your clients. That told me, what a day! Yeah, thank you man, hey. for bringing me here. Yeah. During a coaching session or a ski lesson, the clients expects a lot of feedbacks or um, tips. This allows me to explain things precisely and provide further explanations during my um, demonstrations. I can also point out the positive things or improvements from the clients live during their uh, exercises. In my opinion, um, the lesson gets much more efficient and super target oriented for the client. When does it make sense to use it? I'm absolutely not a fan of constant feedbacks during a run. You can often you can see um, ski instructors or ski coaches following the, their, their athletes or, or clients and shouting thumb thing um, all the time. I'm not sure if, if the clients can hear that or can get something out of it. Probably nothing or nothing helpful that they can apply. Unless we are working on a specific movement or a technical input on an executorate execution. For an example, um, you, you are uh, make an exercise or a movement really slow on a flat terrain at low speed. It can really be helpful to, to um, stay in touch with the, with the client. 
if you talk to the clients uh, while they're uh, skiing like steep down the hill or doing at, uh, an exercise really fast it could help maybe um, with the rhythm or timing but anyway too much talking is not my teaching philosophy that's why less talking more skiing me a lot with a group lesson. I often coach uh, in a rotation principle. It means the clients they can they can uh, rotate independently. I can give straight tips, um, inputs when they are um, going up on the lift. It means I don't have to wait uh, so long if uh, until everybody is coming back. Uh, it's more efficient individual perfect so the last question how to use it correctly really important questions for a instructor or a ski coach like me as i said less is more i'm convinced that pack talk helps me and my clients the most when it is used as a specifically and focused on the goals as possible. On performance ski coaching, it's not really important to give too much inputs to the already um, advanced or expert skiers. My focus is more about their uh, self-awareness. I try to improve their body understanding during a turn or a descent. I try to make it like uh, I asking specific questions um, they have to think about it so they can connect the thoughts and the feelings. The better you feel the movements, the faster you can improve and they can give feedbacks to themselves. I know he'll be more progressive on the extension. Yeah, smooth, huh? Okay. All right, let's try. Um, yep. you, can, you can go and I will follow you. It also helps for targeted exercises at really low speed uh, for their uh, movement structure and the timing. For an example, I can communicate um, really direct to the client if there is a misunderstanding and explanation or a coordination issue during, a, during an exercise. Added value is as well, when, I'm show, when I show them an exercise, um, I can comment directly my movements. So, after four questions and working with Cardo Pack Talk, hear my assessment. The Cardo Systems has definitely upgraded my teaching and I can work even more specifically with my clients on their technique and needs. However, you have to know your clients and their needs really well. It will not always lead you to 100% success. So for me, thumbs up, approved. Use the link below and get 10% discount on the Corda Systems products. I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion. You can comment and if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up for me and subscribe. Now it's time for skiing.